If you are the artist who like creating realistic artwork, then this video is for you because today I'm going to show you guys how to perfectly blow your background, making it look more realistic. That is really going to match your face. Well, the blowing background of a thing is something that's really common in the art industry lately, mostly on Instagram. If you go through Instagram, you get to see most artists creating a blur background. But there is one thing they always feel to do whenever they blow their background, they always lost the details of their background, which is not really, really necessary. So, come to think of it, when you make use of a camera, a digital camera to snap a portrait or a photo, just a photo. You get to see the blur, it's always realistic. Even though the background is blur, you get to see the details of the background. That is what I'm going to show you right here in this video. How to blur your background in a way that is really going to look realistic and playing with your artwork and really make it look nice. Well, this we are going to be doing with the filter. So, right say I already have the background already imported and almost at the finishing stage of my as well just meaning for the background to be blood so right now as you can see the background is not being blood it's a nice background but i really don't like it the way it is because it's not really matching the image because the background is standing out causing a lot of distraction to my subject so the background being blood is really going to create a difference between my subject and the background making my subject to have a lot of more concentration than the background itself so to do that first of all import your background right into photoshop and convert the background into a smart object so that whatever filter you apply it's going to be applied as a smart filter and you can easily go back and make an adjustment to that particular layer so first of all i'm going to show you where we always go wrong trying to apply this blur effect so first of all when we want to apply the blur we go up to filter and we go up to blur and gaussian blur now the gaussian blur filter in photoshop is something that is so much amazing but if you overuse the gaussian blur filter it is really going to blow away the details of your photo let me just really show you that so let's go up let's go so now you can see okay so let's say apply somewhere around 40. now it creates a nice blur but you can really see that most of our background details is being blown away which is not realistic and is not really making any sense so i just feel like applying the gaussian blur filter is something you can apply just for fun or something you just really want to do but not for creating a realistic look on your photo but when you go over to filter you go to blur and it take check somewhere around the box blur and you try to make use of it so when you increase the blur just about 45 now you can really see the difference okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to leave this i'm going to hit on ok and i'm going to drag my background and create a duplicate and i'm going to drag this and delete the smart filter and i'll go over to filter blur and gaussian blur and i'm going to apply exact 49 which we have or i'm just going to apply some around 40 so we have much of the box blur and less or the gaussian blur so that we can really really see what's going on so this is it here is the gaussian blur and here is the box blur you can really see we have a details blown out and we have a detail within with the box blur now this is so much nice right giving our photo a nice look now what i always do is that now you can just stick with this box blur if you really like it you want to make use of it now it's really okay giving your photo a nice look but what i always do is that I like adding stylization to my blow, to my blood bag and making it look so much, making it look so much nicer. So the blow I always use, I go over to filter, blow, and instead of making use of the box blow or the lens blow, which is really really necessary, I always make use of the motion blow because these are the kind of a movement and a lot of stylization to my artwork, making it look outstanding and really really look nice. So now you can really see what I have. Yeah, it's so much awesome and it's really popping up which i really really love what i've seen right here so now you can really play with this so much in a way that it's really going to be fine for you and if you want to change the direction you can make use of this to change the direction now you can really see how it's adding a lot of effects to your artwork making your artwork look so much nice but i'm just going to say that to minus 90 degree because i'm really okay with the minus 90 degree so if i crank this all up 
can still see that we have details unlike the gaussian blur filter which we always use so now i'm going to hit on ok to go back into that then i'm going to create a merge copy of everything and this time all i want to do is just add a vignetting effect which i always like to add in most of my artwork so i'll go over to filter and camera roll filter so now what i'm going to do is just head over to the vignetting and drag the slider all the way to this point just like that and increase the roundness somewhere around this and increase the thread rate just like that and hit on ok so now you can really see how this is looking so nice so i'm going to delete this right here so now let's quickly see so this is what we are having before and this is what we are having after before and after so now you can really see the difference that our background is our subject is popping up popping out from the background giving us a different look so i hope this video really, really help you and if you do don't forget to hit the subscribe button not just the subscribe button ring the bell icon so that you my friend don't miss any new tips and tricks or any artwork tutorials i will be posting every week